Hi, we're Bonnie and Ty Troutman, and this is our tiny house journey in tiny estates in Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. My advice to someone who's thinking about going tiny, specifically a couple that's thinking about going tiny. Number one, if you think your house is too small now, from a relationship standpoint, you probably don't want to go tiny. <laughs> I would say fix the relationship first and then go tiny. When you both want to do it, you find a way. And for us, as we stared at a 3,000 square foot house filled with things, one of my hobbies at the time was woodworking, another hobby was cars, and I just had all this stuff. In the beginning, the hard thing was, well, where, what are we going to do with all these things? And, and what we found out was it really wasn't that hard. When we actually started to do the downsizing, it, it worked for us. I had seen a cartoon once and there was this garage door open, which of course the car was in the driveway because it couldn't go in. This elderly man was standing there next to his son and he says, son, sometime this will all be yours. <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of the truth, you know, is parents or uh, you know, older adults just hang on to things and then what? This is our tiny house. Journey is 28 feet by eight and a half feet. We have a beautiful spot here that overlooks the pond. For the outside part of the tour, we have made a couple modifications since we bought the house. We're old people, so we needed a railing. So we have this nice handmade railing that looks like a tree. And then I found some lights online that uh, matched up with that tree on the railing. So uh, welcome, let's go in. thought that this space is a whole 328 square feet. I love it. There's loads of room. Here we are. <laughs> we bought this because we enjoyed the farmhouse look. So that's what made us pick Journey. And I thought I would point out a couple special things that we've done to make Journey ours. The first thing was we needed a place to eat. We weren't real big on the TV tray thing. So I built a table uh, and a bench, a little hobby uh, woodworker and uh, was able to build this here. It's a great place for Bonnie and I to have dinner. It is our office. So this is one of our additions. Another nice thing was we had these two chairs in the ottoman where we lived before. They fit perfectly and I think the colors go great. So I'll tell you, gotta have a comfy chair. One thing we have thought about though, you know, we kind of like to cuddle up in the corner sometimes. So we've went to a love sack store and saw the little um, sectional thing that we're looking at. Underneath those, there's lots of storage. But if we do go with that, uh, we'll easily be able to sleep two, maybe even three of the grandkids right here in our tiny house with us. Another thing that we did uh, here to make Journey ours, we needed a little room for uh, office and uh, bar accessories. So we brought this actually from our house that we had before Journey. It was actually, held towels in the bathroom at that time. We ran into a little problem here is that where we wanted to put it is where the wheel well is. So I built a little box and we just raised it up in the air and it gave us some nice storage space here in our kitchen and living room. Also a little bit of personalization that we've done. I am a hobby artist. So these are some of my, my works. I used to be an artist as a child actually I did this painting uh, on the back wall here when I was in eighth grade. But then girls and cars, I kind of drifted away. But uh, as a retiree, I've started painting again and actually had a tiny art show at our tiny house village. So here's a tip that started with us from Boat Life and we brought it into the tiny house. And that is our shoe bin. You know, when you get on a sailboat, first thing they do is say, take off your shoes. And they live in a bin until you're ready to go home there's no place for them strewn all over the floor. So there they go. And when we want to go in our little RV, we just grab our shoe bin, take it with us. So we have two kids, Stephen, who's our son, who has four of our seven grandchildren. He lives about a half mile from here. That's another thing that precipitated uh, us being here. And then our daughter is in Kentucky and their family is three children 
it's about a 10 hour drive so <laughs> this is this is our landing spot here and then we uh, tr have to travel in our other tiny home our sprinter rv to go visit them the tiny home that we have was built by liberation tiny homes we did not buy it new it was actually a rental unit here at tiny estates when they ran it more like an airbnb so it had been rented for about two years before we bought it we ended up buying it for fifty thousand dollars which we thought was a pretty good deal we say we're on the five-year plan we've mm -hmm. been married 30 years but we do things especially since we're getting older on, on a five-year plan this is the journey we're on right now we didn't what? change the no we kept name the name of the house there's joy journey in the journey <laughs> But we're two years in. We're two, we're two, <laughs> we're two years, years in into on the, the tiny, tiny house, house plan. <laughs> <laughs> so at this end of the house, we have our kitchen area on this side. And then over here is our, I call it our dresser, but it's our storage and some of our appliances. This is my dresser. We have bins. And of course, you know, Ty's is much smaller yeah, than you mine. You might notice he has, that. <laughs> he has fewer bins than I do. It works. I love this kitchen. We lived in a high rise for a couple years, and I have said this, this kitchen has more space, drawers and cupboards, than in my 20-foot 20, 20 high rise. It's, it's amazing. But of course, this little area is, is my desk. Bird seed for free feeding the birds. And the rest is just full extension drawers. Love it, love it, love it. And two really nice cupboards. And even this. The thing is, we don't have things for eight or ten people. It's just the two of us. And I think it makes an extra, uh, just a pretty little decoration with the, uh, with the open shelves. I absolutely love gas cooking. Three burners is really all anybody needs, in my opinion. And people say, well, where's your oven? Where's your oven? We really don't do that much baking, but handy little air fryer, plenty of room in the storage down here. We bring it up on top, do our fish or our scones, whatever we're doing. It's one of those instant on, instant off practically, and uh, just tuck it away. Then over here, of course, is our microwave. Really nice size uh, refrigerator and, and freezer for a tiny house, especially just fits perfectly and then of course our great big cupboard which is like a pantry a store all for Ty's artwork dirty laundry place you know gotta have place for everything it's just on a smaller scale last but not least our little bathroom in our tiny house handy dandy little sliding barn door makes it quite convenient and actually I said tiny bathroom but I think for a tiny house this is quite nice we did add a couple hooks on either side just to hold your towels. Back here, little storage shelf, we have baskets. Keeps things neat and tidy. You pull something out, you use it, put it back. That's one of the keys in a tiny house. Use something, put it back. We added this mirror, two-sided, and then it pushes back out of the way. Everything convenient and in its place. So you have trays, baskets, those are um, couple of the things we found there are really helpful to keep things organized. Honestly, I do not feel cramped. I had someone come and uh, take a look at my shower and she says, I have never seen a shower that big, even like for in a small apartment. Now in a home, it would be different, but uh, quite large. I'm, I'm impressed. Things you learn, you know, once you actually live in a tiny house, you know, it might look cute and yeah, the loft is a good idea and we love the extra space that it gives us, but getting old, we got to go to the bathroom a little bit more than we used to. <laughs> so in the middle of the night, coming down the steps and next plan would probably be a master bed on the first floor. When we're not here, uh, and we are here about twice a year for a couple months each time, but our main living space is in St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. Our retirement home is down there. We, we wanted to minimize our footprint there, so we ended up uh, taking the home and converting to completely off-grid. So we have a solar electric system that powers the entire house with two Tesla batteries that store for us. So it allows us to run air conditioning in the tropics, which is a beautiful thing. And uh, all our water is from the rain into a cistern. 
Uh, so we are completely off grid down there. So that was our way of, in a much bigger place, being able to have a small footprint. I actually think that helped precipitate us ending up with a tiny house back here in the States because we wanted a similar small footprint. We didn't want a lot to take care of. We didn't want to have a house and property that that was work for us for the short times we were back here. Uh, we wanted to focus on our adventure. I ended up having to downsize my ho one of my hobbies, which is painting. So uh, I'm gonna show you uh, how I did that. So uh, before in the big house, I had an easel that would have big canvases on it. And now I have a couple small bins that uh, have my painting supplies. And I have replaced the easel with a very small paint box. So if you're thinking tiny, this is tiny art. So this is my box. And this is a art box that becomes my easel. And so this is now my easel and my art. You can see I have one that I recently painted on one of our camping trips in the RV. And I have a monopod that goes on the bottom of this. So this is now the scale of the art that I do versus the larger pieces that I showed you before. So you just got to think about it. You can probably downsize your hobby to work in a tiny house. Now let's go up and check out our sleeping loft. A couple things that we did uh, in our sleeping loft to adapt it to our lifestyle is I changed the lighting fixtures and switches to work on a remote. The house as built had a switch over by the stairs and the lights here for you to read by. And it would, I didn't like getting out of bed to go turn the light off. So I installed a little outlet to allow me to use a remote for the lights and it became much more usable. Getting used to this low space was a little difficult in the beginning, but now a couple years in, even at over six foot two, I, I don't mind it. And we really love, we talked before about kind of the farmhouse look of this place. And we really like uh, all of the painted tongue and groove and then the wooden beams that kind of accent. And it really is, gives us plenty of space for the two of us up here. It feels very comfortable. Windows on both sides for a cross flow. It's really a nice sleeping loft. So here at Tiny Estates, you know, we pay, it's almost like a condo association fee and it covers all the maintenance of the property. And it's really nice not having to have a lawnmower that I have to upkeep and you know, think, and they take care of all of that. So it includes you know, your utilities, your, your propane and your electric and internet. So it's really, it's really everything that you need. It's one, one bill, one, one bill. package, it's <laughs> handy. Our lot rent uh, for this size, whatever it is, all we know is we pay $700. We love being here in tiny estates. And first of all, you have all different kinds of tiny homes and then the different family groups, singles, couples, age difference. It's nice to have this sense of community. We like the safety here. I'm not sure we would wanna be out in the wilderness somewhere. We know a lot of people like to do that, but we like the connection with people. And relationship is everything in a small space. Bonnie and I got practice in a sailboat. So not only are you living in a small space, but it's moving all the time. <laughs> and mostly at kind of a 40 degree angle. So there's that tension and excitement and thing that goes on that you have to get used to in a relationship because you rely on each other. And I actually think that kind of helped us with this because this is a big space compared to being on a sailboat. And then if there are issues, being able to talk about it with the goal that look we want to fix this we want to you know make things better so it's uh, it take and it takes it takes two you know to support each other and to um, to help and build each other up well you know i heard one time a tiny house tenant and that was you don't leave anything out when you take something out of a drawer you use it and then you put it back away it's like that in the relationship too if something comes up 
you don't let it fester. <laughs> you, have to, you have to put it away right, right away. You gotta deal with it and put it away. So it's kind of funny. our video and for stopping by tiny house expedition i'm alexis and i'm christian don't forget to like comment and subscribe and for more tiny home tours and stories click the videos below and join us on instagram for bonus content including face-to-face -face conversations with us <laughs> we hope to see you there all right thanks guys have a good one